it is Kara with some more muzzle hacks. Today I'm going to show you how I add string or twine to the corners of the muzzle to keep my horse from eating or getting their nose out of the corners or getting a foot in or having other of their horsey friends try to bite the corner of their muzzle and help them get their muzzle off. So the things that you will need for this are probably a pair of scissors. You will need some kind of tape. I like electric tape for this one or narrow strips of duct tape or Gorilla tape. Um, the electric tape and the Gorilla tape tend to be a lot smoother and typically last a little longer. So that's what I prefer. Um, and then you're gonna need some kind of twine. Baling twine is a great choice because usually you have it on hand. Um, if you're at a barn, um, this is just regular string, but it's pretty tough. It's not like yarn. Um, it's really hard for me to pull apart. So I'm gonna use that because that's what I have here. So you want to see how long it needs to be by, if you hold your muzzle out um, and it's already adjusted correctly, you can kind of see um, if the way that it's hanging or would hang if it was on your horse, how much space is between. Um, you don't want the pressure to be on this of holding the muzzle on. You just kind of want it to be an extra thing here to block this hole. So once I have a pretty decent idea, I think that'll sit there for me, of how big you want it. You can cut your strip um, of string or baling twine. And I like to, actually, I don't like the, for the knot to be right on the nose band. So I'm going to make the ends uneven and then grab this loop and I'm gonna pull this loop through here and then I'm gonna put the ends of my string through the loop and that gives us a little hitch knot right there and then I'm gonna take one end of my string and I'm gonna come back and join it with the other end of my string and that way the knot is facing out and it is not right under the nose band because if it was under the nose band, it would probably cause rubs. And then I'm just gonna pull this out to make sure I'm making it long enough. Okay. And then I'm going to do what's called an overhand knot. I like this knot because if it's pulled from either end, it only gets tighter. Um, you can do a plain old square knot, which is the knot that most people typically make. But to do an overhand knot, this one's really simple too. You just wrap it around your finger and then send the ends through the little loop that you made. And before I tighten that down all the way, I'm gonna make sure it's a good length. That looks pretty good. And to tighten it, you just pull the ends and pull it really tight. And there you go. And I can cut off the tail. So the reason for the tape, whoop, um, slippery, is that this can tend to move up and down a lot. Um, and it also, depending on what you use, might be another source of rubbing your horse's nose. Um, a lot of horses are sensitive on their nose area. So what I like to do to not only keep it from sliding back and forth, but also to keep it from rubbing. I always like to preemptively tape anything I think could possibly rub, because once they get a rub, it's a little harder to get rid of. Um, and so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to tape around this. I'm gonna do like an X pattern here. doesn't actually matter what pattern you use. The other nice thing about the electric tape is it's kind of um, it's kind of flexible so you can kind of wrap it around and change directions. So I'm basically just doing like a little X pattern and you want to feel on this side and make sure it feels smooth. I have a little gap there which I don't love so I'm gonna do one more piece just to cover that up to make it extra smooth. And now you can 
see that's all smoothed out. Um, hopefully that won't cause any rubs. And I've got my little corner string um, that shouldn't be pulling on my muzzle, but it's just gonna keep them from getting their mouth out the corner. Um, and then you can do the same exact process all the way around. It's gonna basically look the same. You're gonna do the same thing, um, get a good distance, loop it through, tape it. Um, and yeah, that's how you would go about blocking the corner holes using string and tape.